this is just before the um, tide's fully in and uh, you can see it's just up to the Union Jack flag at the moment. It's very likely to cover that completely by the time the tide is fully up. And it's uh, about 8.15, about an hour before the high tide of the 21st of February 2015, which is one of the highest tides in 25 years. We're looking across the river at the Gloucestershire side, at the cliffs, the limestone cliffs of the Wye, and you can see the water coming in very fast now. And a very popular landmark is the Gloucester Hole, a hole cut for smugglers and other use. And near it is the marker, which is a painted Union Jack. And that's a very good indicator of high tide. During a really high tide it'll be completely covered, and it has been known for the hole to be completely covered as well. So it'll be interesting to see how far up this goes today. And the water's racing in now and it's already covered the piers of the bridge. This bridge was completed in 1816 and it has to be a very strong structure and very tall to cope with the tidal range of a river like this. And it's quite a remarkable piece of engineering in its own right and very beautiful too. Time's now 8.20 and the river's coming in very fast. You can see the current and the swirls of the eddies as it goes through the piers of the bridge. We're very lucky to have such a beautiful fine morning and I'm looking over at the Gloucestershire side where I was standing yesterday and you can see people standing on the bridge looking at the water coming up. This is now a foot above the central piers of the bridge. We're looking across at the farthest bank which is covered in trees and a beautiful Y Valley walk goes up that first bend of the river and along to Simmons Yacht all the way up the river. It's a very spectacular walk with lovely views, very popular and the woodlands are extremely special area of special scientific interest. And the river's come up at 8.30 now to about a quarter of the way up the Union Jack flag on the limestone crags over there. It's now 8.38 and the uh, tide has come up halfway up the Union Jet at Gloucester Hall and it's still flowing in. I heard that you're um, also... Are you the artist? Yeah. I'm a painter and he's a so final therapist at the Textile Therapy Room. And the river's still flowing in very fast and it's covered up to the halfway mark on the Union Jack flag and no sign of slowing down yet. All the ducks are flying past and get very excited. It's about halfway up the white metal spans of the bridge now. is actually beautifully flat today. No tidal surge at all, no bad weather. It's absolutely beautiful sky, very clear. There's quite a lot of lumber and timber coming up the river from the sea, which quite often happens. Quite large logs floating by.
8.46 and we've got about 20 minutes to go before full high tide and as you can see it's already halfway up the Union Jack across the hole. <laughs> That's pretty much it, isn't it? <laughs> Look, look at this, look how high that is now, it's actually really... Yeah, yeah. I'd say that's three quarters covered now on the Union Jack, which is quite spectacular. We've never seen it come up that high before since we've been living here. It's nine o'clock, as you can hear by the church bells ringing in the background, and we've probably reached the peak of this tide, but there you go, it's come two-thirds of the way up the Union Jack and about three feet below the Gloucester Hole. Nine oh four, we're about ten minutes off high tide, and uh, that's oh, yeah. about as high as it's going to go. Yeah.